Shane is Hello. recording the call. <laughs> I am recording Hello. the call. Okay. So, uh, this is my student, Eloa. She is at the level of intermediates in English. And today I wanted to show you an example of a class that's a normal class on Skype. Um, that we have uh, once per week. Eloa does one class per week. We've been doing class together now for about a month. Yeah, six, five weeks, something like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so if uh, I'm going to begin the process. And today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, the the conditionals in English. And what is what are the conditionals? Um, Eloa, have you ever heard of the conditionals before? No, I have not. Okay. So, uh, the conditionals, if, if you're not sure, it's, it's literally the word if. When we use the word mm -hmm. if. Okay, so if there are three different kinds of conditionals um, in all languages, right? And um, I'm going to use a little bit of Portuguese during this explanation so that we can... Uh, kind of make a comparison, but uh, first, so there's the first conditional, the second conditional, and the third conditional. The third conditional is more complicated, less common. The first and the second are very common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you the grammar, and then we're going to do a little, um, like, some examples, and then, like, a conversation with that um, with with the grammar. So the first conditional is easy. So I will give you an example. Let's say if I have enough money, I will go to Japan. If I have enough money, I will go to Japan. So this is the grammar of se eu tiver. Se eu tiver, se eu estiver, se eu quiser. Right? If this is like a, a situation that will if if it happens or when it happens, this will happen. Okay. All right. So, um the the way that we can explain this is like we would say that it's if the word if plus present then we have will plus verb simple as that um but okay we will return to this the second one okay. is a little little more complicated okay so it's this is a, a hypothetical one uh where we would say if i had enough money I would go to Japan. This is the grammar of se eu tivesse. Okay. Okay, se eu tivesse. So this is hypothetically speaking, if I had enough money, I would go. Uh, if I had um, one billion dollars, I would give you one hundred dollars. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> Is Thank that you. enough? Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, one hundred dollars is nice. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so that's that. And the way this grammar works is similar. It's if plus past would plus verb. Um, what is would? Are are you familiar with the word would? Gostaria. Yes. Okay. That's an example. So it's any verb with ia at the end in Portuguese. Uh, gostaria, would like. Seria, would be. Comeria, would eat. Iria, would go. It's would, would, would. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, English, just the, the word would plus the verb. And then the third um, conditional, like I said, not as common, but we use it. It looks like this. It's a little scary. If I had had enough money I would have gone to Japan so the last class we worked on the present perfect so yeah. you'll notice that in this grammar here the second part of the sentence there is the present perfect I would have gone have gone is the present perfect okay so the way we translate this would be se eu tivesse tido se eu tivesse tido Dinheiro uh -huh. suficiente. Eu teria ido para o Japão. Japão, in this case. Okay. It's, little, it's, it's like pretty... I specific. understand, but it's strange. It's strange. It's strange. Um, this is the grammar that we're going to use when... Um, the con excuse me. This is the conditional that we would use when something is completely finished. It's already done. 
Mm -hmm. Cannot change it. So, for example, if I had never come to Brazil, we would not have started classes. I right? So that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's clear. Okay. So the way I would, I'm going to tell a, a story that will take one minute. And then after the story, it will explain all three of the conditionals, and then, um, and then, yeah, and then I, and then we will do some conversation practice. So the story is like this: for example, uh, you ask you ask me to travel to uh, Japan with you. Do you want to go to Japan to me with me? Wait. With me, good. Yes. So, okay. Wow, Eloa, thank you so much for asking. Mm -hmm. If I have enough money, I will go. So, mm -hmm. I go to the I go to the bank and I open up my bank account and I remember. Oh, I am an English teacher. <laughs> I don't have I don't have enough money to go to Japan. So, I come back to you and I say, listen, Eloa, I'm so sorry. Now the second conditional. I cannot go. If I had enough money, I would go, but I cannot. And then your reaction? Okay. I don't know. Are you okay? So, I have money enough. Well, you guys, you you have enough money. I don't. Okay, fine. Uh, good. And then, so let's imagine that because I cannot go with you, you become very angry. You're very angry with me. I hate you, Shane. I asked you to come to Japan hate, with me. Okay. Right. I hate to Shane. Oh my God! So then we stop talking to each other for. You are poor. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. This is true. <laughs> and then we don't talk to each other for five years. Five years you don't talk to me. And then one day, I'm walking in the supermarket, and I see, Eloa, is that you? And you're with your boyfriend, I'm with my wife, and we're like, oh, wow, my God, this is so crazy, it's five years. And then you say to me, Shane, I'm so sad that you did not come to Japan. It was an amazing trip. We loved it. We had a great time. And then I say to you, third conditional, I'm so sorry. If I had had enough money at that time, I would have gone with you, really, I promise. And you say, okay, no problem. And then we become friends again, and you start taking classes with me, and it's amazing. So that's basically those are the three those are the three conditionals. Is that is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask you first some questions with the first conditional, then some questions with the second, and maybe some with the third. But let's let's see how that goes. So the first one is, uh, what uh, uh, if you if you retire, if you retire, what will you do? Do you know retire? Yeah, uh, aposentado. Yes. So if you retire, what will you do? If I am. Oh no. Or if I if I retire. If I retire, I would. I will. I will. Uh, I if I retire, I will go to California. Perfect. So if you retire, this is, let me write this example. So if I retire, I will go to California. Okay. So you said would and would is okay. If I said, if you retired, but it was if I retire. See the difference? I don't know. Yeah. So, okay. If I, if I say to you, if, if you retire... You will your your answer will be, uh, if I retire, I will go to California. But if I ask you if you retired, then your response would be I would. So you're only saying I would if it's ed. Um, right. So first conditional is in present. Yes, so the first conditional, the response is going to have the present with will. Mm -hmm. If I retire, okay. I will go to California. Second conditional, if I retired, I would go to California. Okay. That's it's the second. Second conditional, okay. So, for example, I will give you a second conditional question. Uh, 
Um, a very common way to start a second conditional question is, is what would you do? So, for example, what would you do if someone stole your cell phone? Someone stole your cell phone. What would you do? If someone stole my cell phone, I will. I, w I? I would. Yes. I would. I don't know. I... Would you call the police? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ma <laughs> porrada. Okay, so you could say I would. You could say I would punch. Uh, the I would man, punch. the person in the face. Yeah. So okay, so the complete <laughs> sentence would be what? If someone stole my cell phone, I would punch that person in the face. Yeah. All right. Another yeah, example yeah. with second conditional. <laughs> Where would you live? This is another one. Where would you live if you could live anywhere? Um, if I could live anywhere, I would live in Nova York. <laughs> the best in New York. <laughs> New cool. York. <laughs> New, well, yeah, well, actually, when we're people from New York, we don't say New York, we say New York. New York. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you sound like a New Yorker. That's amazing. <laughs> Super good. All right, let's do, I'm going to do one more example, and then we'll look at the third conditional really quick. Again, third conditional is important just to know how to use, but most of the time you will not find it, uh, uh, you know, you won't need to use it every day, basically. What would you do if you won one million dollars? What would you do if you won one million dollars? If I won one million dollars, I, I would buy, I don't know, a, a house. A house for your English teacher. <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. A house for you. Nice. No, that's important also. That's very important. Um, good. And yeah. I would pay a beer for you. <laughs> there we go. There we, that's good. So you, I, w I would buy a beer for you. That's very nice for you. Well, it, okay. If you won yeah, one... If you won one million dollars, I would increase the price of the classes. <laughs> <laughs> like five times more expensive. Uh, it's one thousand hay ice per hour. Yes, that's it. Yeah. That's what I would do. All right, and then the third conditional. Let's see an example here. Just so if we could see if we understand it. it what would you have studied? If you hadn't studied accounting, you studied accounting, yes? Yes. Okay. So if you hadn't studied accounting, what would you have studied? Um, if I hadn't studied accountant, I would have studied nutrition. 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 Excellent. Perfect response. Okay, if I hadn't studied uh, accounting, I would have studied nutrition. In my case, so if I hadn't studied English, what would I have studied? Um, if I hadn't studied English, I would have studied maybe linguistics. Similar. Think, yeah, like, well, yeah, it's similar. I think that because the English that I studied was like literature and things like mm -hmm. this linguistics is more like the structure of the language it's more today is more interesting to me but anyway okay so this is an example i'm going to to stop the recording so the the way we would continue with this is we would review more examples uh and then at the end of the class i would give uh, eloa some homework uh you you know 
I will, for example, the homework today, I'll tell you now, is going to be for you to create uh, two questions with each conditional for me and then ask me in the next class. So basically some, some kind of homework to review, you know, some kind of thing to review whatever we learned. And uh, that's it. Eloa, thank you so much. You want to say bye? You're welcome. Bye, everyone. <laughs>